Hi and welcome back to school. Let's start with our first lesson in grade 3 English. I'm sure that we will have fun. So let's start. Our learning activity today is to describe one's drawing about the story or poem using the simple and compound sentences. Hi, it's listening time. And because it's listening time, there are some few things to remember for us to listen effectively. Number one, listen attentively. Number two, okay, uh, avoid talking while listening. Okay. Number three, take down notes of important details in the story. Number four, try to see yourself as you are part of the story. Put yourself in the story so that you will uh, you can have a more uh, imaginative feel of the story. Okay, these uh, reminders are uh, needed for us to listen effectively. So the story is coming up uh, next. So remember these things in listening to the story. The Crow and the Pitcher, a fable. A crow dying of thirst came upon a pitcher. It had once been full of water. But when the crow put its beak in, he found that only little water was left in it. He could not reach far enough down to go to get the water. He tried and tried, but at last had to give up. Then a thought came to him. He took a, fab a fable and dropped it into the pitcher. Then he took another fable and dropped it into the Teacher. and another and another at last he saw the water came up near him and after throwing in a few more pebbles He was able to quench his thirst and save his life. Moral, little by little, does the trick. I hope you have enjoyed the story. Now it's time to learn words from the story these are the words that are used in the story now let us learn them one by one okay look at the arrow on what part of the bird is the arrow pointing to is it called the beak or is it called the stone what is your answer?
Look at the picture. What kind of animal is this? Is this called crow? Or is this called dove? What is your answer? This is a very familiar object. This is commonly found in kitchens, inside the rest, and in the dining tables. What kind of an object is the arrow pointing to? Is it called a pitcher? Or is this uh, called a crow? What is your answer? Now that we have learned some words that are used in the story, now it's time to complete the sentence using the correct words. Now the clue to the answer is the words are used inside the story. Now let us read number one. The crow has a big blank. Sentence number two. The blank has a narrow neck. Question number three. The crow is thirsty. It wants blank. What do you think those words are? Kindly write your answers in your paper. Then take a picture and send it to me. Okay? Now, for your first activity, uh, here is what you are going to do. The question is, where do you get water to drink? Now, here is what I want you to do. If you know the answer, then draw it in a clean sheet of paper. After you draw it, make sure to uh, color it to make it more presentable and then write at least one sentence about your drawing. Are you excited? Okay. So come on and let's start drawing. Okay, now it's time to learn more. Let's learn more. A sentence expresses complete thought. It starts with a capital letter. It ends with a period or a question mark or an exclamation point. While phrase does not express a complete thought. It has no punctuation mark. For example, the crow is a bird. That example is a sentence. It gives us a complete message that the crow is a bird. And uh, for the place, uh, let us give this example. Near the well. Okay. Near the well does not express complete thought or it does not have a meaning. It just says near the well. It doesn't say anything about what happened near the well or who is near the well. It's just near the well. So that is a place. It does not give a complete thought and it has no punctuation mark. Okay? Now, to learn more, I will give you some set of examples and what you're going to do is to identify if it is phrase or sentence. Okay? Are you ready? Of course you are ready. Okay. Now let us go with our practice. Okay, now it's time to dig more by learning more now we have three statement here what we are going to do 
if we are going to identify if they are phrase or sentence. Okay? For the first one, fly high. Fly high. For the second statement, we have the crow is thirsty. The crow is thirsty. For the last one, we have the pitcher contains water. The pitcher contains water. Look at each picture, write at least one sentence about the picture, write your answer on a piece of paper, then take a picture of it and post it in our Google Classroom. Okay.